Hey guys, it's SPC Cream from 056. Look what I bought today. It is a Radio Shack 12519 Weather Alert Radio with Skywarn, as you can see on the box. Um, the reason why I got this one was because I got it a while ago, but I didn't like it, so I returned it. And then I decided I really liked it, so I got another one. Now, let's begin with the unboxing. As you can see, this is a pretty big box. As you can see. Go back up the camera a little bit. That way you can see. Um, as you know, I keep I save all the boxes of all my radios. I'll make a video of that later. But this is the radio I got today. Now, we're going to do the unboxing now. This is so exciting. Yahoo! LOL. Um... All right. Now here we go. All right. This is your owner's manual in English, Spanish, English, Spanish, English, Spanish, and English. We need. I'm gonna read the English section. Well, I'm not really going to read it. I'm just going to do it how I remember. This appears to be a quick setup guide. I'll save that too. Piece of plastic. I mean cardboard. This is a DC jack. Now we're going to open that now. Packaged very well. Here's the DC jack. It looks a lot like the um, 12093 cord, but it's not It's not quite. Now, I'm just going to plug this in, guys, so that way when I have the radio out, I am able to turn it on. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I have six batteries, which is what it requires. I'm going to take six of my batteries. Right there. Just gonna get rid of this little thing. Recycling bin, get rid of all this unnecessary packaging. Sorry guys. And um move the owner's manual. Move the box, put the owner's manual inside. I'll refer to that later if I need to. And I'll put the box over here. Standing right over here. Alright. Now, this is your radio. No, I don't need that either. Um, this radio requires six AA batteries. I know that's a lot, but that's what it requires. Oh, this appears to be an antenna thing. So you can see. It's probably plugging into the back of the uh, unit. I'm going to save this in case I get an external antenna. All right, here's the radio. I'm just going to move that over there. Here's the radio, as you can see, it's packaged really nicely. Now I'm going to take the radio out of the um, this material. And here it is, guys. The Radio Shack 12 519. Under here, you got your Skywarm tools. And all this. Alright, first thing that you're, you're going to want to do... When you get a radio like this, as you can see, it has one of these labels. You want to take the label off. That way you don't get confused. Now, what I do with these labels here is I put them on my window. I'm going to show you what I do. Here, take a look at this. Over here on the window, I got so many different labels. As you can see, I already have one of these. This, is, this was the one that I got a while ago, the one that I didn't like I returned. Now I'm going to put the one that I just bought right here, put it on the window right here. This is the WR100, WR120, HH54, VP2, 12521 weather station, 12519, 12519, and all the other stuff. Alright, so back to the unboxing and setup. I'm just going to lower the tripod for you, that way 
you can see exactly what I'm doing. Sorry guys, should have should have uh, done this earlier. Alright, here's your radio. Right there. Just gonna get this out of the way. Move that. Now first thing you want you're gonna want to do here is you're gonna want to put batteries in it. When you're gonna want to put batteries in the radio. So not to so I don't damage it. I'm gonna put this um, piece of packaging under right here. I'm gonna flip the radio over until you see the back where you have this thing here. Open it up, and there you go. That's where you have to put your six AA batteries. One, two, three. The reason for the AA batteries that you are, that are required with the radios is in case of a power failure. Like in case, like if you have a bad storm, like power goes out or anything, then your radio still works. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, here it is. Now, let me just lift it up in this packaging, put it back down. Now, I'm going to try to do the setup on my own without any um, help from the guide. Let's see how this works. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press the menu button, which is located right up here. And it says select channel auto. You can press select. Oh, wait, hold on. Auto, manual, select. Now, let me just raise the antenna for you. Oops. The antenna just came off. <laughs> Um, so the antennas escalate uh, in the air. Now, what I'm going to do, there's the volume. I'm going to turn on the weather radio where it says WX, that button. The reason why you saw the watch warning advisory lights flashing. Breezy with highs in the mid 40s. Northwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Thursday night, mostly clear in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Right. Um. Hold on. Okay. The 40s. Clock. All right, I just forgot how to turn it on and off. That's funny. Um, basically, the reason why you saw the uh, watch warning and advisory lights flashing like that was a signal loss reminder, a visual signal loss. And apparently, if um, no, if like you can't, like if you can't see those lights for some reason, it will do a uh, a uh, noise. It will say signal loss like that, a freaky noise. Freaky voice that uh, says that. So yeah, and uh, that's that. Now we're gonna go through the menu options again. Select channel. We already did that. Alert mode. Uh, it is uh, it's a good idea to keep it on voice, cause then you don't have to hear the siren for five minutes straight. Alert reminder off. Keep that off. In my opinion, signal reminder off. Actually, you know, I'm gonna turn that on. Um, same code, all. Same code is where you put in your six digit same code for your county. Set alert. Select. You want that to go off. Recognize statement. I'm just going to go right to the uh, winter storm warning simply because um, there's a winter storm watch just north of us and uh, there's a possibility that they will issue a Winter storm warning, and when they do that, it's an EAS alert, which is good for me. Oh, I'm just trying to get used to these arrows. I'm gonna go down to the required weekly test, which is not uh, on default. It's off. It 
So select. I'm also going to turn the monthly test on. Um, the other thing I might want to turn on is... Uh, these transmitter transmitter uh, backup on backup off all that because if for some reason the radio station doesn't work they'll s they sometimes send out this alert alright guys that's the uh, set alert after that set language you can set it to uh, a few different languages alert volume day um I'm not going to test it right now, I'll test it later because my brother's sleeping in the next room. Alert volume night. Backlight, you could do this way. You could do it medium, low, or high. I'll keep it on high. Oops. Select channel manual and we're back where we started. Now, you can see the time. The way you want to set the time, the way you have to set the time is by going over here holding down the clock button until it starts blinking then you can set the time it is 9.45 on the nose let me just speed this up On my radio say 9.44, so I'll just put it that. AM is PM. And there you go, your clock is set. Um, I <clears throat> set your, uh, I'm going to actually go in the next room, if that's alright with you guys. I'm just going to take my radio, go in the next room, because I don't want the siren on this new radio, which is quite loud, to wake up my brother, which is sleeping in the next room. He's in there. So I'm just going to come downstairs. I'm going to test the siren down here since my brother is asleep. You don't want to bother him when he's asleep. So right now I'm in the den. Put the radio down. So you can see the lights are starting to flash a little now because of signal loss. Now let me just turn on the lights so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to test the siren, alright? No. Well, I'm going to do it. I'll close these doors. How's that? Um, the siren on this radio sounds a lot like a police car. And I'm going to show you what that sounds like now. Let me just zoom in, zoom in here. I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Oops, what am I doing? No! Sorry, guys. That's the siren. I need to set it all the way low for nighttime. Because I can't have it go off. Alright, now daytime. I want it high, so that's good. Done with the Lord test. I'm going to show you how you can set up AM FM uh, thing on here. Now you can click on FM. It's going to go to a station normally uh, 87.5. Now to change that, I believe you hold down FM, or no you don't, ah, uh, you go, you press, um, now look, it's 106.7 Light FM, all of our, uh, the EAS fans favorite station in the winter time. See, there you go. Now I'm going to hold down FM. Or not. FM. 
Oh, it's already saved. You don't have to press any buttons to save it. It just saves. Notice. Alright, now I'm going to put my other station I like on here. It's 103.5 KTU. Or 92.3. So, yep. AM. I sometimes listen to baseball, so I'll leave it on that. Get back to the room, enjoy this win, and we'll see you practice. Thank you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. The way you said it. The way you set the, um, the, uh, AM, the AM FM is these things called M1, M2, M3, all those. You hold that down, just like on a normal, uh, radio. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to FM. Put, hold down FM1, and you can see FM1 is already displayed there. Uh, okay. Now, I'm going to go to 106.7. Hold down M2. M2 is displayed. That means it's good. M3. I'm going to go to... One oh one hundred point three. There it is. Hold on, M three. There you go. M four and five. I'll leave alone. And the way you turn off the radio from. Be either doing whether you press the clock button. Aux is, um, I believe, you can play anything on there. Like, you can plug your things in there. Next, we're going to do the uh, Skywarn. We're going to press the Skywarn button. Open up the little top compartment. We're going to do scan. As you can see, it's scanning itself. And when you find a station that you actually hear talking on, it will um, probably stop. So yeah, that's the uh, compartment. And yep, now to stop it, you just press the clock button. Uh, there's an alarm clock feature on this radio by uh, menu, backlight. Alert night, alert day, language, set alert, same code, alert reminder, alert off, select channel, back way, okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to figure, oh, on the side of the radio, I forgot to show you this. A little hard to say, so I'm going to do this. This up right here is for the alarm clock. You can either have it on on, off. Or set. When you press set, this will be displayed on the front. Now, you're going to be pressing select. No, you're not going to be pressing select. I, I don't know. I'm not going to use the alarm clock feature on this radio. Alarm. There's two alarms. Alarm one, alarm two. And then the other switch here is for alert on off. If you want to silence it for the night, you just click it off. As you can see, and if you want to turn it on for the day, turn it on. Um, I have pretty much covered everything on here. Anyone driving Wednesday evening and night could face difficult travel. Snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. Are possible in the height of the storm. Northwest 15 miles per hour. Thursday morning will be in the upper 20s and lower 30s. Visibilities, one quarter mile or less at times. This will make for difficult travel, especially on higher terrain roadways. A winter storm watch means there is a potential yep. for significant snow. So that's, uh, basically, uh, my brand new 12, 519 weather radio, guys. Um, 
any alerts that I will receive, I will likely film on this radio, simply because it's new, and uh, I want to give it a shot, you know, see what it looks like and sounds like when I get an alert. Alright guys, it's SPC Crew 1056. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, setup, and review of this weather radio. And uh, please comment, subscribe, click like, maybe even click favor. I don't know if you guys want to, but if you want to, please do. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video.